just to let them know that I wasn't going to be responsible. If you want to give me your scrap paddle, right? Yeah. She was at the school as well. Yeah, right now they're worried about the fact that the bell might fall. Oh, was Surprised it hasn't already. The amount of fire, really. Yeah. Right? yeah. Well, they're afraid because there's so many firemen in there, and if the bell falls. They really did that. On the right, the Dara report, I changed the name. No, on the right. Right foot, yes. Yeah. My other right? Um, How old is that? Oh, um, yeah. I asked Suzanne for a new template so that we can. Eight, nine hundred years old. Is that right? Yeah, eight hundred and ninety-four years old. That's just a second. You don't rebuild them like that. No. That's interesting. No. See, and the sad thing is, is it's all wood. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's a little town probably. Stone, what stone on the outside. Yeah, yeah but I mean, so mostly wood oh. structure. Salmon. What? Oh, that guy? It falls asleep when you open it. If you don't. Like, if, if, if you're, you're not starting it, it. Yeah. yeah. I thought so if you close it and open it, it should. And you got 6.29 now, so. I'm going to turn it on. Oh my God. That's just an FYI for your records. They denied part of it, right, when they approved the other part of that letter? Right, right yes. That's what it's going to the planning board, right? Yes, which hasn't happened. I will ask my questions about it when the appropriate time comes, I guess. Oh, <clears throat> All right, at 6.30, we'll call to order the uh, April 15th. I should know it's tax day. April 15th um, meeting of the Rome Select Board to order. First order of business is the uh, approval of... We've got to call the next one. Never mind. Hold on before we do it in the official. Myself. Hey, Denise. We just opened the meeting, and you are on speakerphone. Alrighty, uh, and I've done the call to order, and the first order of business is the approval of minutes of March, uh, April 8th. Did you have a chance to take a look at them? Yep. Did you have a chance to review them, Denise? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, so by consensus, we will um, approve the minutes of April 8th. The next order of business is the community input time. Mark, are you here for... Uh, yeah. You would be here just to watch, it's okay. I didn't know if you came down or something, come on up. The reason I came down uh, is I, I've been living there on Somersworth Road for about 35 years now. Mm -hmm. I really never had any problems with with, with the uh, gun range out there. Oh, the gun range? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but for the last three or four years, uh, it's really 
you know, Increase it's that. really getting to the point where it's, uh, you know, yeah. you're out there like yesterday, Absolutely. Sunday afternoon, yeah. three hours. I heard we had to listen to that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, I mean, I, uh, I, I go shooting, I've, I've yeah. got a, uh, uh, membership at the uh, gun range in Berwick cost me $100 a year. Uh, I mean, I could easily go put a sand pile and go in my backyard too, but I don't. And, right. uh, the only thing I, uh, I'm asking is, uh, you know, you, we've got scout land out there. People walk out there with their right. dogs. And, and I, I've been out there walking, and then, uh, it, especially when you're walking on that trail right in front of it, uh, it startles you, you know. Yeah, you it, can only uh, imagine. Uh, so I'm, it's startling hearing it across town. It, it, You're even closer. Exactly. I can't. I can't believe the people like them, that have houses up at the Scouts Landing. Yeah, yeah I mean, must they, be very they must be. Uh, they're a lot closer than I am. I know the. Um, uh, this came up. I'm going to cut you off. No, no. This came up. Uh, Oh, well, you weren't. You didn't have to come. Both. You remember? You must have been here something. It's probably about a year ago. Two, no, two, I maybe remember, two I, years ago now. I remember when they were prior to when um, we had the walk there. No, but but Bob the said that the they've before. expanded it, so now they let the the SWAT team uh, use it, I and a couple of three or four of the towns yeah, too, I guess, use it. And we kind of let it go yeah. for a while, but we can also re we can revisit it with them again. Right. And I, we probably should. I mean, you're not the first person to mention right. something. So. Because that's that's the only thing because uh, you know it was one thing like that was I said, just our town. town I guess. Uh, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, I mean, I've been. Uh, I mean, they've, they've had that gun range here for a long time, but, but it's, for the last three or four years. It's but when, when it was just Rawlinsburg, yeah, you yeah. didn't, didn't notice it as much. I yeah. don't think, right? I mean, yeah. Now, now they also do uh, night nighttime. Shoot, night time. I heard that the other night too. And so it's a little I, disconcerting at I first. Just, I just wanted to. Yeah. That, uh, no, I thank you for that. So, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I know they need to do that, but uh, you know, maybe they need to do it at different hours or, uh, yeah, you know, we, we talked reduce to reduce rate or something. We yeah. talked to, to Bob about that, and I guess what do you say? There, are, they have to be certified in winter hours, right. night and day, I guess. Um, again, at night, and then. And the rain? Oh, you weren't there. I don't remember. There's a whole host of things, I guess, that they have to do. And it was one thing when it was just Rollins. Right. right. But now that it's multiple towns right. and the SWAT team. Right. Uh, the way, I'm trying not to laugh, but I think it's kind of funny when you, now that we're not in the middle of it, but we showed um, four or five SWAT vehicles in town one day. And then they were practicing, and then they were all around. People were scared. I mean, right. here, you can see all these things. So, yeah, it's, yeah it, it's, it's just a, you know, I, I just don't understand why they, you know, I mean, they get, uh, there's quite a few gun ranges. There's one in South Berwick, there's one in Barrington, one, right. one in Berwick. <coughs> and that's a beautiful gun range, and, and I'm sure they give discounts to the police. And the, and well, I think we, that came up, and I think Bob was trying to help all lo other local departments because they help us with other things. Right. So. But again, we should be visited. <coughs> right. I mean, it's, if people are yeah. concerned about it, right? Exactly. It's, it's the right thing to do to read this. Yeah, and we'll talk to them about it. All right. Well, thank right. you very much. Right. Any other community input for now? We have another chance at the end of the meeting. Yeah. George, come on up. Good evening. Good evening. Denise, I'm sorry. I should have asked if you wanted to say something. I, I, no, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I'm, no problem. My head is swimming from allergies right now, so I apologize. I should have said that at the beginning of it. You knew them all for a so That time of year, they're bad anyways, but this time of year is just awful. Terrible. Yeah, sorry, George. Go ahead. Uh, I got a PO for street sweeping. Oh, good. Okay. So I can get that signed yeah. up for $1,500. All right. <clears throat> Show them services and sell that one. I, uh, I'll move purchase order 1607 to show them services for $1,500 for street sweeping. All right, I'll second that. So, what's in the, is that the entire line, George? The yep. $1,500? Yeah, right. I assumed it would be. But, all right. And when do they think they're going to be able to get it done? They'll probably be in a couple of weeks. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. Try to finish it as soon as we get it. And this has uh, been reduced over the years because of the use, less use of salt, I mean sand and He's doing what he can do for 1500 Right. So we're always fine. We can go with it. Um, 
Denise, you have any questions? No, I'm all set. What, what, um, what portion of the town does that usually? We, we usually get all the way up to uh, the old passengers, everything downtown. Do we and do? We can get across sometimes over by your way. And that way. It depends how much you can get down in a certain amount of hours it gets allocated, which it gets further. I'm sure you get do we, do we sweep the state roads out too? We don't do like Main Street. Do I cleaned the sidewalk off last year, but I don't remember. Like Main Street and Front Street. Front Street, Street we probably do, but downtown. Yeah, because it's on that side. But there, are there any on the other side? Well, I, I go the sidewalk right into the street and they, they clean that very well. Right. And, okay, so and the concern is, though, I mean, yes, obviously, uh, Main Street's a state road, but if the state isn't going to be doing it, we have the storm drains there. We don't really want right. the and sand going there. There's a lot of sand uh, right yeah. now coming out of that parking lot down the street. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. The balloon? Yeah. Because yeah. they're totally construction. They're gray, yeah. regrading, so there is yeah. a lot of sand in that area. It's fine. Right? I don't know what the state schedule is or if their plans is sweep, so I... Uh, Okay. Can, I want to check just to make sure if they are. I'll check them. If they are, then we, we won't want to do it. But if they're not, at least get down. It might be a bigger issue if they don't. If they're just going up the street anyways, it might be a bigger problem yeah. if they don't do it. Yeah, because I mean, last year we just blew the sidewalks off, and, but uh, you know, if you blow the sidewalks off, they can pick everything up at the same time and be done with it. Right. Right. So it's, I mean, we can do it. Uh, I'll, I'll check with them if they're going to okay. do it. But, all right. Any other questions or comments or concerns? Okay. No. Purchase order 1607 has been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. You want that. What's next? Northeast Resource and Recovery Association is having a conference at the end of the month. Uh, send two people is two hundred fifteen dollars a week. For what's the? Uh, uh, it's on recycling. Uh, they have classes, plus a demonstration of different things. And new techniques and best practices, that sort of thing. Yeah. Changes in our. Uh, it's for two hundred fifteen dollars. Right, let's move in. We'll talk about. It. Uh, move purchase order 1608 to Northeast Resource and Recovery Association for $215 uh, for two people for their uh, annual training. Right, I'll second. So, we got, did, did you guys go last year too? I mean, so Ed, went, Ed went last year. Okay. But, uh, we can take Paul and I tell women this year. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, so, we have done this before and it's um, paid dividends by having Ed last year go because um, he brought back. Um, yeah, he, can find, he finds out quite a bit of information. Yeah, so, so, it's, so it's been helpful. It's a two-day conference. They're only going for one day. Okay. Is there a training budget for? And there is money in the budget for that conference, I believe. Okay. It's an executive. They don't have one in. They don't have their own. Yeah. So but we, when we work on the budget, we, we talk about we talked about we this one. And about it. Yeah. No, but we talked about training for the transfer station in general, um, and this was one of the ones that came up. That much I know. So, Denise, do you have any questions? No, I'm all set. All right, any other questions on this or concerns? If not, uh, purchase order 1608 has been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. All right. Denise, I'm going to apologize in advance here. I've got a road plan that I'm going to hand out uh, unless we can send one over to you. Well, then I'll take a kiss. I'm going to make sure I get one on my desk. Yes. Thank okay. you. Do you have it in, um, do you have it on the phone No, it's not. All right, okay. I don't know if you're scared. to an email over mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll email you a picture, Denise. Because uh, I can scan it with my phone. Actually, yeah, I, was, I was scanning that thing on my phone. I'll create a PDF. And really? Yeah. Right over a little bit. I'll take it. Pictures on my lap when amendments come out in committee rooms, and I scan them and send them down to see if it's something we can support or not. So. You just send it to my camera now, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for you right now while we're on the phone. We can all look at it together. Okay. Like that. Yeah, I gotta remember where it is here. All right. Turbo scan is a great app. Stand up to get the whole.
right there. Next. All right, I'm going to email the PDF. It might be a little confusing on the bottom. Well, the numbers on the bottom coincide with the numbers on the side of them. Oh, it's just a, sending it to your town one right now. Salome's getting it to her town one so she has it for the minutes. Thank you. And Caroline's getting it so she'll have it so when I lose it again, she can send it to me. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa, they should have just sent it. Let's make sure it went. I can't look at it. Well, you know what? I can't send it to you while I'm on the phone with you. I'm going to hang up and he's going to send it and um, I'll call you right back, okay? Sounds good. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah, sorry about that, everybody. I can't send it. Did this come through? I don't know. Book box. It's not kind of. It's not on send. Go, go, go. There we go. All right, it's set.
probably lay two pieces of culvert across the top of that, just above that, for an overflow protection. Okay. But not as high as the other one was. All right. Looking to take, with the culvert money, and through the culvert work, the numbers coincide with what's running outside of the uh, Yep. So in the approved budget, we have... 350. Yep. No, we still have five thousand for paid work, and uh, like I said, we can. I put sixty two hundred. That's a quoted price for a company coming in and install. We can install wooden uh, guardrails ourselves. Okay. I'll get the, the you know I get a lot less than that. Okay. Can can this be? Um we don't have to do the Jersey burial work. No, I mean, no, 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 that's independent not, of the, the paving. And that's right. That, that else. can be done afterwards. Can be done after. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I put that in there. Well, you know, explain. Sure. sure. Yeah. We had the money in there. So I want to be in there with the, you know, and staying within the budget. But okay. we definitely need to have guardrail first and Jersey buried down there so we can move the snow away from the one of them. Okay. And then the culvert fund do we have? Thirty in the culvert fund. Okay. So we'll still have money left over there. And actually, at 30 plus the 10 we put in this year. So we have 40? Yeah. Okay. All right. But don't we have that cover problem on um, Pine Street? Mm -hmm. It's, um, I think she means by the oh, Legion of the Street. Yeah. I'm sorry. That'll, yeah, that'll, that'll be, be that's probably yeah. something we're going to do ourselves, too. And that's a couple pieces to cover, so it's about $300. Oh, okay. $400, All right. so we get in every place that. All right. That's the only one. The other ones uh, look like it was frost more than uh, compass. We haven't got to look underneath it, but the road is right back to normal now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any other questions for George? When did, so what, what is the total that we have available? We have uh, 350 in the budget for road maintenance, and we have uh, 40 in the culvert fund. Scaled back slightly. Well, George, I'll let you answer. No, he uh, he had the prices up there of them doing the shoulder work and stuff originally. We're doing the shoulder work, so that we reduced the price considerably. Oh, okay. You know, about right, you know, so twelve thousand so dollars savings on each project. Yeah, there. Okay. George is estimating it's about twelve thousand dollars savings on each project, each road, by us doing oh. the um, shoulder work ourselves. Right. heritage and most of the car will be completely done, right? Yeah, it will be a finished product after this year, that's correct. Uh, that would be good to finish what we started. So exactly, yep. Sligo um, will just be a base coat. Sligo we'll will to... be a base coat next year. We hopefully get in there and overcoat the Woodrun and Sligo at one time, the way they have all the equipment there. Mm -hmm. And if there's, depending on funding left, maybe we can go further down Sligo or decide where else we want to go with it. Right. But well, we're going to start working on the, um, the, the road maintenance plan anyways this summer so we can do a reassessment for budget time. Right. So, it's going to go from there to Pitch Hill Road. Correct. To reclaim it and put a base coat. That's, that's quite a ways, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then is the plan, is it, or has it been that we're going to do that whole road eventually? It's not looking at it because it's falling apart. So I think it certainly needs yeah. to be done. Yeah. But the, the, what we're doing is the worst. Or the most used. I would say it's the worst. It's yeah. the worst section where we're doing now, yes. Yeah, and the most used by the residents because it's coming out of there, right? I would think so. Because mm -hmm. on the end where the development is, yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Although the other side gets a lot of traffic. People going up and down to the farm. The farm, right? I mean, we got to get that area get and hopefully we can do some more things even after this project. So. And it's the longest road in town, also, and it's in it, it's in the worst shape. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, yeah. Is that um, account for widening it, or is it? 
We're just trying to maintain the just, road the same width. Okay. And, that, and that's we, fine. If we can't widen it too much, especially with the ditch coming down off the hill, right. there's no room to put much ditches there. So we got to try to do as much as we can to get that. Yep. All right. Okay. So what are people thinking? Are we okay with this plan? Um, I I don't I don't remember seeing the the road plan from before. But was Sligo on the list? We the... we talked about. Um, uh, doing a portion of Sligo at um, the, um, uh, the public hearing or the delivery session. I don't remember which one, but maybe both. Um, but it wasn't this far, I don't think, George, was it? It wasn't, but the road but the, it's actually worse on the, the section that we went to. Mm -hmm. so, but we did say we wanted to try to get a portion of it done, I think, is what I recall you said to it, right? So, looks like you're going to be able to accomplish more than you thought, so that's a good thing. And, and you, you're confident that you have enough manpower to, to do all this. The dish work and stuff is, we got to be here anyway. Yeah. You know, so that's why I'm saying, if we get the cross culverts in before they get the pavement done, we'll be golden. Right. The rest of the work we can mow you along through the summer. You know, we won't have to depend on all of it, all at one time. Yeah. Yep. But we definitely want to get It would be a, definitely a busy month if we had to get it in and get it all done put months over. I mean, I can I get some pot, I can bring some pot, I don't think, you know, to drive the dump truck from the transfer station guys and stuff like that. But. What does this do to our cash flow? I assume we have plenty of... <laughs> cash flow is always a concern. Mm -hmm. um, the culvert money can be transferred right, as soon as we spend it. It's the right. other amount of money. Um, the latest I can't well, in the over. past, Pike has been very flexible with getting paid once we start receiving revenue. So okay. I think we can work that out with them. Um, so there's a contract for tonight? Or? No, I okay. think that was the, the price. I'm going to call them tomorrow. Okay. You know, Are folks at least okay with this in concept? So George can start working on a contract to bring to us for next week? We can, hopefully not sure they will for the week after. Yeah, I, I think this is an amazing amount of work to, it is. to fit in with this. I mean, it's a lot of money. Nicely done, George. It is, but it's what was budgeted, so nicely done, George. Denise, do you have any other questions or comments? No, I, I'm, I'm impressed that we can get it all done and not have to um, not do the project, so I'm happy with it. Okay. That's all I can say. I think the cash flow there's a question, so we need to confirm that that can happen. Right. Uh, once money comes in, was it you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, as long as they, they, you know, won't work with us, this looks good. Yeah. Right, so I would say get uh, get a contract with Pike together and uh, we'll look at approving it. We we'll yeah. appreciate it. Anything else for us, George? Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> We talked about dog signs. Yes. You want to set a limit on how many you want to get, and we we'll put them up where we need to put them up. Uh, what do we have on our sign budget? Uh, we can do six now, and you know whatever we talked about. Right? So I think our homework assignment was to go around looking where we thought they were needed, right? Yeah, and I guess looking around is not going to help us if where the complaints are. Right. All right. I would say I think you were. Uh, how much were they again? I don't remember. You gave. You know what you gave us? Right over here somewhere. They weren't all that much, were they? About thirty, forty dollars a piece, I think. Was that with, was that with the poles or no? Right. I get some poles. I get some signs. So you could also have some backup signs too, in case they get stolen right. or knocked down or whatever, right? So. Well, we removed a lot of them that were down around the, the not so wide road down there. It's like so we took a lot of the construction sites down that wasn't necessary and right, gave right, a lot right. of right. Oh, okay. All right. I would. Uh, I'd say. Do you have a PO for it or? I can. I, I can. I'll make have one made up for next week. But right. I, I, well, I, I would say do one for six, and then we can consider it. Because it was a discount at. at you buy one. It goes down every time you buy something. Yeah. Actually, I have to miss my hand, but the price is... Price is fine, right? Price is fine. Oh, here it is. At 
$10 a piece for one, mm -hmm. then it goes down to $25.40 a piece for five or more. Yeah. And 12 is 19 and then of course 25 is 16 but I don't think it's 25 mm -hmm. What was the, how many for 19 each? Uh, 12, 12, no, 12 sizes, 19 bucks a piece. It'll be 20 and 28. Probably not even one, it's the high yeah. yeah, I would say just order five. Mm -hmm. oh, we can do it next week, there's nothing to do Okay. Uh, dog, we're pretty And our own Old mill milk. Yes. We're going to do some ditching by Andrew's house. Okay. And they're going to buy the culverts. What are we talking about? Across the driveways. It's, they have to replace the culverts along the road so we can get the water to flow down the street in the culvert, in the ditch, instead of in the road. The road is getting damaged and they're getting a lot of water in their property. Just tell us something about it. Yeah, no, I'm not worried about that. I'm thinking about the process. Um, and we're Explain them. it to me again. What 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 do you want to do? We have to re-ditch the, the road so the water runs down the road and not right. I mean down the edge of the road and not down the road. Right. So they have the a, water is going in their property. They have a driveway easement across our. They have a. We've granted them an easement across our our ditch, right? Well, they have three driveways across the ditch. Okay. And they want to put culverts in them so the water goes beyond their driveways instead of going into their property, which is causing their property to become wetland. Okay. And while we're there ditching, we could replace the culverts as we go by. Okay. They are going to purchase the culverts. My thought is how do you want them to do that? Do you want them to purchase them to us? Or do we want them to go out and purchase the culverts? I wasn't involved with the last time this happened because it affected a family member. So I recused myself from the entire process. So I honestly don't know how it happened. I just know that they wrote a check. How, do you remember how this happened? Because it, it happened this way for one resident, it happened for the next set of residents. So my recollection of that was that they paid for the labor, everything, didn't they? Yes, they paid. They uh, that's how I think it happened. They paid for the materials, but I think they also paid for the time. Mm -hmm. Right. And so yeah. they were billed for that, and they paid the town for that. Right. Which was because a saving. The state thing. law is not our responsibility to maintain driveway culverts. It's the residents. I'm all too familiar with this now. So. Right. right. What about the ditch line along the road? The ditch line is our responsibility, I would say, but maintaining the culvert in the ditch line is not our responsibility. It's the, it's the That's why they were going to pay for the culvert. Right. We're dry, we're Are going they going putting it in themselves? No, we're going to put it in because we've got to go buy it. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. So the last time this happened, we, the, the town charged the resident okay, then we'll to, to, to put it in and for material. Right so now. if that's what the board still wants to do, I mean, I'm, I, I think if that's what's been done in the past. Well, lots of things have been done, honestly, Miles. So let me just be clear. There were some select boards just put in driveway culverts for people. Some refused to do anything about it. And then there was a hybrid. This one board said that, okay, we'll, we'll put it in, but you have to pay for it. So. How would we charge, like what rate would we charge? And I don't know how it was done. I have to look in the records, but I think it was... Um, like just straight compensation. How long did it take to do it? So, so you would go and remove their old culvert. Yeah, we have. You tear it out. I mean, they cut the, the ditch line starts above their property. Yep. And when it gets to their property, it's going through the first culvert, mm -hmm. but the culvert's higher than it needs to be. Right. So a lot of it's going into the road. Right. Which is causing the road to get damaged now. I mean, I don't know how long ago that road was. He said five or six years. I know that road must be longer than that. So culverts are, are not the driveway culverts, the town the responsibility of the owner of the property. Of the driveway, because it's an easement across. We grant an easement across on our property and allow them to put a culvert in. I will say the last road agent didn't put a culvert in, he just paved over it. There wasn't even a gully or anything in that. But anyways, I, don't, I wasn't involved with this, so I don't know. I think if we can look into, if we have recent I'll try to I'll, I'll try to look into that. So we need, we need to try to figure out the process first, George, because it's, it's supposed to work. I mean, I still going to try to be equitable. We're going to back towards there to get the water out of their property as much as we can. Fair enough. I mean, we should. We and should I'll, maintain our baseline. Right, because, I mean, 
That's also something that they've asked in the past to get it down in the woods, so I'm, I'm trying to, you know, if they get a chance to think in a wetland problem, just be able to sell their property, that becomes an issue too. So, I mean, I'm just. A lot of ditch lines need to be maintained for sure. Yeah, there's plenty of people. So, I mean, it's, you know, we're siding and we got to get these roads fixed. So, we'll, so, we'll look into what the process was last time. I said, and I'll tell you know what's going on. We can talk about it again. We can be able to figure it out before next Monday. I have some. Thank you, too. So, hopefully, we'll have an answer for you next Monday. And the, and the residents. I'll get to that, you know. If the board decides that they want to do a practice that if we're doing the ditch lining anyway, people just have to pay for the material. We're not going to repave really over it, though. We're just going to. We're going to have to give them a price to fix it, too. Yeah, because we're going to cut the driveway a little bit. Well, that's, so, see, that's the... I mean, that be, it does become an issue. They would need to pay for that, too. We wouldn't repave their, their driveway. So, well, we, I, I mean, I'll try to ditch below the driveway for now, and we'll talk, I'll talk with them again. But. Yeah, we need to figure out the process. So. Okay. Denise, do you have anything to add? No, I'm not bad. Okay. Anything else for us, George? Um, yeah. Oh, we have a list. <laughs> but do you have anything else for us? Sorry. Yeah. Well, right. we're waiting for the next one. Yeah. Okay. We can go over now if you want, though. Is, do you have it on your list, too? I just put it on there just to make sure. Yeah. Talk about it. it has, uh, I, I went down and inspected the day the work is done. It did the work that Mr. Stevens asked yes. to be done? Or yeah, so it needs to be done? Shoulders are graded and everything okay. else has been done. You're signing off on it? I don't know if you want that. Well, I'm, well it's, 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 it's up to you if you think it's, it's been done. done. It's done. Yeah. We're relying on your expertise, so so we'll release the funds back to um, Chenberg. Yes. Because okay. we were holding a check, I think, wasn't it? Sir? Yes. We'll give it back to them. Truck one. Truck one. Uh, you want us to put it up for sale? Oh. What have we. Um, Yes, put it on the bid, or I think you're going to get more money trying to sell it. Ed's in his business at the moving company, sold many trucks. Mm -hmm. He's pretty well versed on selling them. Mm -hmm. we'll get it out on Craigslist with a, a new guy can set the starting price. We've done bids in the past, but if we think we're going to get more for it this way, I'd rather get more for it personally. I, I suggest we try selling it. Sure. Yeah. Denise, what do you think? Go the best. I think that, that would, we would make more on that than putting it out because we always go for the highest bidder. And, you go for the highest bidder, you might get a thousand dollars. Yeah, we're not in the wrong accepting. We have a, it has to be more than this amount, you know. Right. Um, but uh, I think it's worth a try. I mean, if it doesn't work, then we can go back to putting it out for, sure. for bid. So will you work with them on mm -hmm. setting it up? Yeah, yeah, I think with Miles, you're okay with that? Yep. And and it, it's, it's, if we get pictures of the truck and stuff already, okay. we can just, you know, get it on Craigslist and try to sell it that way. Did the new truck come, or we feel the like... The truck is at the main... No, I mean, this can be pending. Okay. I mean, we're not going to use it. I mean, unless we get another storm, we won't be needing that truck. Yeah, so April's not over yet, so. No, I understand <laughs> that. It's going to take a few weeks like that. We even get through the process, so... Right. Not that they want to jinx us now, so... Uh, <laughs> the truck is at the uh, manufacturer, so they, they wait for the body. They got a few other things that oh, right, right, the body right. on it. So, right. but they, they said that it takes probably ninety days before they get the body, so it's gonna. Okay. You know, we're still a few months out. So we're just we're starting the process now. Okay. Yeah, we figured it'd get it out there, and so they can start looking at it if someone's interested. In it. Okay. Yeah, it works for me. And we can set a price, at, you know, a starting price, and I mean, next said we could get twenty to twenty-five thousand for that truck, so. And everyone that I've talked to said the structure voice is still worth some money. So yeah. I think we ought to keep it up that way. But if you go out to bid or hire somebody to put it out to bid for you, you're going to be right. paying any time with me. Sure. Yeah, no, I'm, I definitely don't want to go to the state. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You don't make money there either. Not at all. And you got to get it all the way to Concord. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, I think start around that towards fine by me. Okay. And Bicentennial Park flagpoles. We got two flagpoles down there that either broke in half. I, I, I don't know what shape they were in before, but and they're leaning. I don't know if you want it removed or what's your story. I mean, we, they look terrible for one thing. Okay. Did we? We could probably fix them. Yeah. They're metal poles. They're, 
Is there a pipe? Yeah. And there are. So probably someone pulled them down, is that what we're thinking? Probably could either cut them off at the... They're mounted in a rock. In a rock? Well, it would be nice if we could replace them. It's a okay. public park, so... If we could make that, we can mend them. Yeah, I would see if you can... I can find out what it would cost to fix them. You know, I mean, sure. Mike can weld them up or whatever. Yeah, we should look into that. But that's why I wanted to bring it up because they look terrible when they're leaning against well, I also don't want anyone to get hurt either, so. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'd say look into seeing how much it would cost to fix it first. Then we can revisit it. Okay. Do we, we don't have any flags down at the moment, I'm assuming. No, that. there's no way you can put a flag down there because they broke off about halfway up. So. Ah. Okay. Whether vandalism or wind or what have you. But. Combination of change. Age. Yes. And. We may need to permit showing up the bank and down there, so we need to get the uh, day I talked with Aaron. I didn't give him no kind of, I said, we talked with you, I can find out what, you know, if we want to have them. He said they'll help us with the permitting. Okay. So we need to get a, a work, find out how much uh, task, order. task order will be for, uh, well, okay. Tanner, thank you. And he said he'd be able to, but he said he wanted us to hold on until the end of this month because they're relaxing the rules. Oh. So we'll wait till the end of the month then and find out. Yeah. Right, because he doesn't think there's going to be a big deal issue because we're not touching the waterway or anything like that. We're just showing up the bank and on right. each side of it. So right. We, but he said it may require a permit. They may not let. You know, but he said, okay. You know, we'll look into it for us. Okay. Perfect. Sounds good. Um, <coughs> anything else? Yeah. No, I think that's a lot. I know. I when I figured well, so hey, it was my little. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Anything else for George? Did you share anything? Yeah, well said. Right, well, thank you, George. I appreciate it. Good work. And we we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah, that's still a little light. Awesome. Appreciate it. So, did you have something for the select board? Or? Um, I, just, I had a simple question. Is, is this on I TV? Desk. Uh, it, it gets put on, yeah. All, oh, all the news. Oh, oh I, I just had a question. I have a. Um, um, large, relatively large okay. lot with enough frontage for a... Why don't you go here? Okay. Okay. Could you stick your name to the... Yeah, my name is Peter Anderson. I'm here representing um, one uh, New Hampshire uh, uh, Anderson and Hampshire Realty. And we have a piece of property in the back half of Harrison Hill. And we can put gas in that a fourplex. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you see that's right at the bend of the bend. Right at the bend of the bend. Right at the bend of the bend. Yeah. Right at the bend of the bend. All right. Um, one. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank That means that we don't issue uh, new building permits on Class 6 roads. Because the road is, is, is not maintained by the town officially. Yes, it is. Uh, not officially, it's a Class 6 road. So I think we need here? to like look, like look, verify that. That that's changed from the last time we looked at it? I mean, we can, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, but there's houses all up and down. I understand that there, there yeah. are houses on it, but if it's been, they were built long before the, the classification went into effect, I believe. That, that's the issue. That's what I want to look into. Right. For this purpose. Right. right. So you want to? You're looking to build more houses up there? Yes. Yes, I'm for sure. Um, okay. I have a, a modest plan here to add a, a duplex, and I have enough uh, frontage and certainly enough land to have um, multiple units. Okay. And I was wondering, um, do I need a subdivision plan to add a duplex, or can I just add a duplex because I have? Enough frontage and enough land. You would need a, You need to go to the planning board uh, and get a subdivision plan done for sure. If you're adding adding another house on this property, the red is proposed. Right, that, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, I, why, you, you, are you looking to subdivide the lot? No. Okay. No, that's why I don't want it myself. I don't see why I would need another lot. You want to put another house on the same uh, lot right, right next. So, to so yeah. the existing structure has four units. Is that right? That's correct. And that should, that should be grandfathered. So, 
an addition of two would be would max out that district, and theoretically, it's allowed if he has okay. parking and land. You know, meets all the zoning requirements. Okay. I'm not sure about separate structures. I right. don't know that it's not allowed, though. But he yeah, would go to sure. planning, though, because you it's definitely the expansion. Go to planning. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I, I had an, another larger, much larger concept, okay. which I just wanted to bring up just because I thought it would, I was trying to do sort of a thought experiment and um, what it would be like if you rezoned. And um, so this is a parcel that I own. On Shady Lane. Um, yeah, you know, I, I love that because it's, it used to be called Love Lane, and now it's called. We're well acquainted now with this. This one is definitely a classic road. Yes, that is definitely a classic road. Right. Sure building permit on that road. Right. And what I was going to suggest is um, the zoning in this area is very minimal currently. Uh -huh. And the other side of the hill is very heavily developed. Here uh -huh. is a mile from downtown Dover. Uh -huh. It's a logical place to rezone. Yeah, it's um, been that way by design because we don't want to own. The town doesn't want development there. Okay. Well, this project would be 500 jobs and 200 million dollars. 500 jobs. Where? Yeah. This is a retirement community. Medical offices. Um, <laughs> a aging in place. And a nursing home. Uh, no, that makes more sense. And this is one of the Douglas Hospital. Uh -huh. This is land in Dover. Um, this is Dover land. Um, the high tension lines here, mm -hmm. and um, you have a tax problem in Rollinsford, and this would help solve it. How would you access it from the Dover side? From There's the a, Wentworth Douglas This is side? the Wentworth Douglas light right here. Yep. There'd be a so road that went old, through, all the way through the Rollins Road. They call it Old Rollinsford Road. Mm -hmm. On that end, yeah. Yeah. And there's something in it for everybody. Um, just a concept. Just an idea. Yeah. Dover, Dover's Park gets fixed up. Um, uh, anyway, it's, it's a concept that I thought I should throw out at some point. This is I've, and I've done, uh, part of the uh, hill, right? Like this, this is a slope. Yes. Uh, is um, this wet here? Mm -hmm. There's a little tiny bit of wetland here. Right there, yep. Yeah. And this is a cell tower on top of the hill and a yeah. lookout tower that Dover has is about right here. Okay. You might also check zoning for um, the net acreage requirement, given that that looks very sloped. Mm -hmm. and I've already looked into okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think you need to go to the planning board to talk more about this. Yeah. Okay. And you need to go to the zoning and planning board and, and here, obviously, for this much yeah. larger plan. Yeah. I can tell you, though, it took about uh, Two and a half years for someone who wanted to build a house just on Shady Lane, and uh, it just about brought uh, the town to a standstill. So I, I can't imagine your your retirement development would go very far, but if a single house lot was rejected, so well, that's perhaps why the taxes are so high. It's a beautiful area. Mm -hmm. And my plan preserves all the beautiful parts of the hill and everything. So. Do you reside in our town, sir? I do not. I reside in Durham. In Durham? Do you think this would uh, go over well in Durham? They're building one right now, sir. Oh, I've seen it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do you like to keep a copy? No. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got any Okay. You need to come back to for the planning board meeting. Oh, okay. Oh, then. Well, thank you. This, this one bit wet. Huh? This one bit wet. Uh, another one? From my water bowl. No, no. I'll let it dry. Yep. Yeah. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Take care. Chief, come on up.
first one is for some personal protective equipment. Okay. Um, it's to uh, Darley firefighting equipment. And basically, it's for uh, firefighting miles. Two forty-two miles. Okay. We'll move purchase order one five one eight to. Is it Darley? Darley, correct. Darley fire equipment uh, for two forty two forty for three pairs of firefighting gloves. No second. Any discussion? Denise, any questions? No. All right, first order fifteen eighteen for moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Bergeron protective clothing for 21203 for turnout gear alterations. Alright. I'll second it. Any discussion? Denise? Yeah, okay. Alright, purchase order 1611 has been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed?
we did some research on the accreditation, and I want to say after this year's issue from the CIP, it will be $40,000 in that line. Like oh, in the CIP? Yeah, in the CIP. All right. Because we've been building this up for right, right, right. four or five years. Right. And right. so we had uh, one of our suppliers come in and gave us a quote for a unit. Okay. Which is still considered reasonable, but we're negotiating a 55. For the unit. Okay. And we'll have 40. So, um, okay. we're looking into it. I just want to kind of bring this up so that this is starting to be a discussion and we want to, the money's there, we want to, we want to utilize it. Um, I can take some money from within my operating budget to get close to this. We gave us a figure of 55. But a lot of that is negotiable because if you want high because the price of steel right now is like super crazy. Okay. And we were making some alterations to some of the quote that we gave us that we do not need. Yeah. So we're hoping to be able to kick this down to the 47 rate. Okay. Sounds better. <laughs> yeah. And I know I can find some additional funds within my operating budget. Okay. So we're very, very close to getting this done. Um, the only other thing that I want to do is I have to talk to CMO or one of our electric contracting personnel. We'd upgrade for the electrical to supply this unit. But I just wanted to kind of bring it up and start the discussion and let you know that we have it sitting here and try and make all the pieces come together so we can get this taken care of. Okay. Something we've needed for a long time. Excuse me, what is it? It's an air filling station. Okay. It's for filling our SCBA, yeah. filling our air packs. Because mm -hmm. right now we still have to. South Burke, we can go to them, we, we can go to Berwick, and we can go to Summersburg. So when we have an issue where we use air, we have to take right. some phone calls and find out where we go. Right. Have one of our mutual aid partners help us out. Right. Sometimes that's difficult to get done. So. It's on the CIP for next year. Yeah. It says 40, right? That says 50. It says that, that total cost is to be 50. Right. That's where we are right now. I was yeah. kind of surprised because I think we put that in a few years ago. That this hasn't, when he gave me this call, like, wow, right. we're still within the range of what we had uh, projected you know, three or four years ago. Right. And, and I know from what he gave me here, I know we can not get down below even that number. Do you have an idea, a ballpark, an order of magnitude about the electrical upgrade required? What that would cost? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, somewhere between twelve dollars and $2,000. That would come out of the building maintenance line. Because it's an upgrade to the system, we have to add. It. It's either going to be a single phase uh, 220, or depending on exactly what unit we wanted, but that's the ballpark figure that we're kind of thrown out there. Or it may be better to put it in a one article so that the whole thing either passes or fails, because right. you don't want half of it in the operating budget and the other right. half in capital, and then you get half the money you need. Right. Or not half the money, but you get the project, but not the installation or vice versa. Right. We can discuss that when we get into right. the yeah. yeah. well, I appreciate that. This price, this price he said he can hold for a year. Excellent. So give us a little. Well, what, what did you say that to, that was to do some of our work? That you were. Uh, was the number for the unit? Yeah, that you were working on. The, the, toy the original quote that I have in my hand right here is 55. Oh, yeah. I have 90. But again, I, like I said, it went high. And um, CIP number that we'll have in there, I guess, a 50. But I, the only reason I threw the operational money out of the budget, so it's SCBA money anyway. So, I mean, again, that kind of comes on this side of the table. I don't want to get that part of it, but <clears throat> if it was something that, you know, we could try to get done in the short term, all right, I could try to make the numbers work because that number is in there. So it just means I don't buy a few bottles. Good job getting the number down. The difference between the two. Mm -hmm. I had a tendency to survive with that. But this is basically what the unit looks like. Right yes. there is a self-contained unit has its own compressor in it. It fills bottles up to 6,000 psi, and our bottles are usually 45. It's completely in a cast, so that when you fill the bottles and something fails, and it doesn't blow out the side of the firehouse. Yeah. That would be good. That would not be good. <coughs> and also fill beer kegs and stuff. Yeah. Well, 
it has a, you know, there's, there's other options on it that we can have. That, you know, of course, additional costs that we just don't need, so we right. eliminate some of those to try to bring it down. Yep. But it comes pretty much self all made manufacturers, just a matter of setting up the installation. Two things we'd have to do is electrical upgrade, and we'd have to punch a hole through the side of the building because it needs its own hit, uh, fresh air intake. We'd rather take it from the outside than some of the air that sits inside that building. So those are the two things we would need to do. I just kind of wanted to start the ball rolling. And, mm -hmm. you know, we've been looking at this. And it's good some, here. some of the funding is there, and just yep. something else to take off our plate. Perfect. And shag everything. I appreciate that. Anything else for us? That's all I got. Do we have anything for the chief? No. Denise? Secretary position, I understand you have several resumes that have come in? I do. For backup? Um, for the couple of meetings that I think we have vacant at this time and as a fill-in for that and other boards and committees. So okay. I'm hopeful that'll work out. So for tonight, it's just a placeholder and okay. hope to have a name for next week. CIP committee, why did we leave that on there? I don't remember. Um, I don't know that it has to be left on there because well, we it's going to the boards. We we're getting numbers from the planning board. And right, the but we'd already talked about yeah, it, yeah. and it's in the work, right? So yeah, so that can... That yeah. can we, uh, we can leave it on if you want to do an update, or you can put it down onto your section later on there if you want. Okay, uh, Space Needs Committee Draft Charge. There this was is a, just a, a, placeholder, a placeholder and a notification okay. that you can so have a draft to review. Yeah, so I was just going to say, it's in our... Um, draft um, folder on um, the drive and Caroline sent us a link um, take a look at it so why don't we take a look at it this week and we can it just came out today so yep. and we can review it um, for next Monday if that works for everybody yeah I sent my I, I, you I already did while we were talking and I sent my questions to Caroline okay uh, on it so okay I haven't had a chance to take a look at it it came yeah and, well, it came this morning, I think, but I it was just back busy working at work today, so, right, so I couldn't look at it. But, uh, and Miles, you're okay? You want to wait, too? Yep. Okay. Yes, please. All right. So we'll hold off until next Monday. Uh, Eversource is coming, uh, um, is that next Monday, the 29th? No, it's the following. Two weeks, two right? Weeks. Thank goodness. Not ready for April to be over already. And they're coming at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. All right. So we'll make note of that. 7 p.m. All right. Now, is that the same night that um, 
that you have an officer. We're swearing in a new officer too, yes, right? Yes, and that's at 6.30. It's at 6.30, okay. No, I remember that. Septic plans approval process. So I saw in the folder we have a, um, a um, plan that Mr. Clark has already reviewed. We don't do anything with it but sign it. Is this uh, another case of should we just have Mr. Clark review them or do we want to still keep looking at them ourselves? I, I'm not really, I don't bother either way. Just thought we would bring it up because it was not something that we have to come up very often. So, let me I tell you the process before used to be that the junior member of the board um, has a stamp that's kept in his or her desk um, and it was their responsibility to go get the stamp and you stamped the um, the plan when it came in and we signed it and dated it and that was our review of the septic process. That stamp is in my coat that's on yeah. top of my desk. <laughs> so so yeah. Denise inherited it but now it's really yours, Miles. Yeah. So, <laughs> but um, I, I mean I guess by I tradition. Think we should but, still continue to do okay, that. Okay, that's fine by me. I just thought I would say but so at least so we can discuss the process. So right now Mr. Clark who actually knows what to look for on septic plan designs looks reviews them signs off on it on our behalf and then we can still stamp it that's fine by me so we know that we've gotten it but um just so everyone's aware someone who actually knows what they're looking for is looking at it and yep. if you two know what you're supposed to be looking at i don't want to you know assume i shouldn't assume that you don't but um none of us ever did and we just signed off on it it was just one of those things Anyways. yes no, i think it's good that he does his thing for okay me. and so we'll continue to stamp it then okay it's fine by me. I thought we'd add it on just in case people want to talk about it. But we don't. We will remove it. It's fine by me. All right. Planning board alternate appointment. Um, so we had appointed um, uh, Sonny Vermette. Um, he has um, now decided that he's changed his mind. And he does not have time to do it, I guess. So our next person in line was Mr. Ken Kelsey, who I'm told has a master's in planning for public administration. Um, and has expressed some interest in um, in assisting as an alternate. All right. As there... uh, I'll move that we appoint Ken Kelsey as the planning board alternate. All right. I'll second it. So for to to discuss it. I don't know Mr. Kelsey. I don't think really. But He's serving on another committee. Is he on the... He's on conservation. Maybe <laughs> one of the conservation committee. So. C A L C I. C I. Yeah, that's what I thought. Denise, do you are you okay with this? All right, no, I'm okay with it. If he wants to serve, that works for me. So he's an alternate. You said he went to the last meeting? He did. So, is that him first? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, he's going anyways. Why don't we, uh, we'll see how he works out. And if he uh, works out well, we'll keep him on next year. And if not, well, we'll thank him for his service. Because the um, alternate positions are, um, I'm sure he'll be fine. But um, they're every year, or the alternates are up. So this could be his, um, he can try it out and see if he likes it. Uh, all right, so all those in favor of appointing Ken Kelsey as the alternate of the planning board, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Uh, next is uh, is on mine, but not on yours. I apologize. Uh, the library trustees emailed us later this afternoon, um, just before the meeting, I guess, later this evening, earlier this evening. Um, they have vote, met and voted to appoint uh, Lorraine, Han asked that we appoint Lorraine Hansen to be their alternate. All right. I'll move that we uh, appoint Lorraine Hansen as a library trustee alternate. All right, I'll second that. Any discussion? All right, seeing that all those in favor of appointing Lorraine Hansen as the alternate to the library trustees, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Um, other appointments. We have until the end of this week to um, hear back from folks that would uh, have expressed interest in either being the tree warden, fence viewer, or serving on the... Um, Parks and Rec. Um, I don't know what just says Parks and Rec and thing, so until we figure that out, we'll just call it that. Um, so we'll wait until next Monday to see if we have any any interest. If not, then we will start making our appointments based on whatever we want. To <coughs> um, we can we can um, ask the um, if we don't hear back from. From anyone, we can I guess start with the um, the folks that are well. At least one person we can't obviously because he's passed away. But we can um, ask the current 
appointees or past appointees if they're interested in doing it again. Um, if not, then I guess we, uh, we try to figure out who we want to appoint then. Okay. All right. Um, the employee recognition dinner. Um, we, we, uh, Caroline approached the Legion. I'll let you give your update as to what they said. About using a space there, sorry. So the, the date that you all had hoped for is available. For the room upstairs, which is a smaller space, they would charge the discounted rate of $450, which is $100 less than the public rate because we are the town. Um, it is only free for voting and meeting purposes because they have to hire a janitor um, to clean up afterwards. Okay. Um, she offered the alternative that they could provide tables and chairs and you could have something outside on the green by the gazebo for $100. All right. um, which is very nice of them. Um, I think if you tried to have an event down by the river uh, outside at night in uh, late June, none of us would survive. We'd be carried away by... Um, all assortment of different types of bugs, but mostly mosquitoes, I would think. But so, unless uh, I could be outvoted, but I would say that's probably not a very good idea. But I don't think so either. You're right. I didn't think about that until now. Yeah. All right. I just think it's it's a little too iffy with the weather. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's also there's tents. I know that some of you have a, a circus mm -hmm. tent that you offered, and I think it's wonderful. But again, it's still the it's just too buggy. I think by the river. I, at night uh, in June, I just I think we'd be carried away. So, um, so I'd like to look at other locations. We have the fire station that they use for um, the pancake breakfast. Um, I didn't talk to Mark about it tonight, obviously. Um, if we were going to do it there, I would want to make it clear to Mark that um, his members are responsible for doing the cooking. I'm sure they probably feel that responsibility because it's their space, but um, so we need to work out those details. Um, I was also going to talk to um, a approach, approach um, Jim Jalbert. I mean, he's got some, I mean, it's not the most, I don't want to say welcoming because I think it's, it's a nice facility, but I don't know if a garage is really the place for it. I don't the know. The fire station is a The fire station garage. probably is a, little, is a garage too, I know, but I'm trying to find a place that's ours that we can, I don't think it's, I don't think we're, we're going to spend $450. School gym. school gym, there you go. I knew you, so, okay, you're right. There's another, that's probably a better thing than that. me asking Jimmy if he can use one of his braids at the bus station. So, I'm sure he would probably try to help, but, because um, he has helped us in the past with things, but. The gym in the school is probably much better. Can you do my reaching out to the... For that day? same date to see if we can yeah, get the evening. That night. Okay. School should be up by then, right? Yeah, last yes, day the, is... Um, the 14th. Is the last day of school. Yes, the Friday. That's really early. What is it? Well... They didn't have that many go Yeah. Right. They had half days or maybe not late starts. Yeah, right, a lot of late starts. Days. Um, but he, I would leave to ask him to see what he says. Yeah, no, that's a great idea, Denise. Thank you for that. Yeah. Probably should have thought about that before the fire station. Well, the fire station's nice, because, I mean, it's been a great big bay area, but, I mean, yeah. school might be a little, we, I know they've had dinners in there before, as long as they're careful about the floors, you know, so I think we'd be fine. I think that would work. That is going to be a factor, is when the floor is getting... Oh, that's right, they're replacing their floors, aren't they? That's the, yeah, that's going to be too early. I would, ho I would think and hope it's too early, but... Yeah, that means school is not even a week at that time, right? It's two weeks. Early. It's two weeks after school gets out. Two weeks after school gets out. Okay, well, well we can ask now and see what yeah. uh, Right. And, uh, and come up with another plan if that doesn't work. Right. Okay. You don't mind reaching out to that's perfect. Well, Caroline won't reach out to Mr. Harper and see what he has to say. All right. The policy review, um, we still have on here, our wealth, reviewing our welfare policy, personnel policy, and purchasing policies with um, the two items uh, recommended that we look at by uh, the department heads, the PO limit change and the credit card limit change. 
Is there any desire to go over that this evening, or? I really would like to look at it better. Right? Okay. I'm, little, I'm trying to be a little cautious. Huh? They keep some changing on that, but. No, oh, that's fine. Like yeah. Look at it one more time if I could. Yeah. So, this is what I was going to suggest. So we could either, um, I think, for one of our upcoming Monday evenings, maybe not until maybe we'll start this in May. Give us till the end of the month to do other things. We'll carve out um, some time on our agenda at a meeting where we can go into a workshop. We can have the beginning part of the meeting take care of things we need to take care of with the departments, and then close the meeting and go into a workshop and work on um, um, whichever one you want to start with. If we have three of them, we need to really review. So, would that work for folks? Yeah, yeah that works for me. That way, we don't have to try to come in on another night or or a Saturday. Now that the weather is starting to get nice again, it would be nice not to have to do that, so. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right, town administration, the standing item, board member activities, and updates. What's uh, everyone about to do? We haven't even been in the meeting last week, right? I didn't have any. I, I, I have plan. mine. I'm, I'm I know you're waiting for yours, yeah. so. Uh, I didn't have any um, meetings, and I don't know how anything this week. I'm trying to look at my calendar here. I, um, I can do this one on the phone with you, Denise, and I don't know. So I don't think I have. Um, oh, historic committee. Tomorrow night. It's 7 o'clock. Okay, that might be an issue. may not be happening. It might have been a meeting that was scheduled and they changed it. I haven't heard, and usually city is pretty good about reminding us a couple days ahead of time, but I'm putting out the, uh, the notice. So I may or may not have a historic meeting tomorrow night. We were going to try to organize a, um, a cleanup of one of the historic cemeteries in town, but it's also Earth Day on the 27th. And that's when the other town-wide cleanup is happening. So we. Um, Decided it was probably in our all best interest not to try to compete with the Conservation Commission's townwide cleanup, but we do it a different day. So that's all that I have. I'm coming in tomorrow for what, half life? At eight? Yes, please. All right. But yeah, do you guys have anything else to add? No. All right. All right, so we've added onto the agenda for, for moving forward the town administrator update which might make more sense to move to the top of the agenda, but well, this is the first time doing it, so we'll do it this way. Okay, so there was a recreation, there was a recreation meeting this past week. It went well. They are sorting through resumes and getting ready to um, make recommendations for hires. They understand that the board wants to hire the top three positions, and then their director and they will hire their counselors. Um, they're still discussing potential other grant opportunities and um, and field trips. They're still working out a lot of details, but um, registration is going well, and so far things are going well. Um, the one thing I'm, I was asked to bring back to this board was um, process about paying for field trips. They have two field trips. Um, where if you sign up online ahead of time, um, you get, a, I think, a 10% discount. Right. So they want to participate in that, but it's going to be more than the $200 credit card limit. Right. So they, A, would like a credit card, and B, would like a purchasing limit over the existing $200 to accommodate being able to pay for these field trips. So I told them that I would bring that back to you all, and it's timely while you're considering a revision to the purchasing policy. Um, if you were all to consider that, I would, I would suggest that you wait and, and perhaps consider the rec director rather than a volunteer. Yeah. You can go ahead first, please. At this time, I would, I would rather increase your limit yeah. than I'd not give them a credit card at this time. I, I don't disagree with that because there are, you know, administrative and oversight considerations. Yeah. Um, it's something that we should try to work out going forward in that they buy a lot of supplies and it would be helpful for them not to do, it would just be 
you know, a nice consideration to them that not to have to pay for lots of things out of their own personal money and get reimbursed for those things. All right. So, I would prefer, well, one, I, I have a lot of concerns about issuing a credit card to a part-time employee. And a temporary and employee. And a temporary employee at that, right? So that's the first thing. Um, I, I'm definitely don't in, in, in favor of getting it to a volunteer. That, that's just not going to happen. Or I hope it's not going to happen. Um, I would, much like Denise, I'd, rather, I'd like to see it coordinated for you, at least for the time being, the, the big purchases. And if we have to up your your limit so you can pay for it, I'm fine with that. But I'm not I'm not gonna. I, mean, I don't think it's fair to ask a volunteer to put on their personal credit card. You know what was it like three hundred dollars like last year or for passes to I don't know what was it the, the water slide place or wherever it was. It, yeah, it's not it's fair to ask them to, to put out that I money. Think it was the state parks, if I Maybe it was. Yeah. Sure, but yeah. I wrote a check to that one. I think take flight, because okay. that was something that, that you could plan for ahead of time, and okay. you buy it, and you have the pass for the season. Yeah. It was yeah. more like the places like take flight, the ro the ropes course, places, or hilltop fun yeah. center. It was the places where it depended on your actual en enrollment, and if they knew ahead of time you were coming, and you committed to whatever your enrollment was, they would give you a discount on that. Right. Yeah, yeah. And to me, it makes sense for the town to coordinate that make those purposes. Uh, we don't well, have to at, at this point, just because we're starting off with a, with a whole new staff, and so, um, and you, you got to get through a year at least knowing these people, and if they become, if, if they come back, then that's another, we can talk about that like next year. Um, but if you wanted to, you could have, the select board have a credit card, the ex officio, which would be me. But I would rather Caroline do it. I would too. Just increasing her limit. <clears throat> so for situations like this, do we go and buy 30 tickets without having those seats filled? Is there a risk that we eat? No. Okay. No. Okay. No, I think that they, most of the time they know that they're going to have to, if that's the planned trip, I don't, I don't think they've ever eaten any tickets. Okay, no. Yeah. I think that that's all. Um, what do they say? They say how much do they like save ten or twenty percent last year, Denise? It was quite a bit. It was quite a bit bigger than the volume that we buy. Yeah, okay. it made a lot of sense. And, but, and so yeah, I don't remember. Did. I don't remember who it was either. Miss um, Neenoff or, or Miss Anderson. One of them put it on their personal credit card. Thank you. In fact, I think one of them was Kelly. Did okay. One of them did. And it was. It's not really fair. So. I agree. That's that's, yeah, that's, no. that's a little beyond. Um, right. That super volunteer. Yeah. All right. So we're going to have um, coordinate via Caroline. Yes. So um, we can wait until like maybe when they um, do a purchase order for whatever these planned trips are, then we can incorporate into the motion of those purchase orders that I would put it on a credit card so that I'm not violating our purchasing policy. Yeah. Yep. If that's workable? Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Because it's not the credit card company that has a limit on you as the right? Correct. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that works. Okay. Good. At this point, like I say, again, it's, it's, you know, right now, because we have all this step of staff, that I, I, I would be really nervous about giving someone a credit card. I, I disagree. You have to be careful of people that, um, that come and go and need to make sure that we're, we have, Processes that safeguard. Right. You know, and I also have total say that I'm two chairs, so if we wanted to make them the chairs, I wouldn't have a problem with that either. I, you know, it's more the director that we don't know who they are right now. But the two, the two co-chairs are on time and on time evidence, and we know them well, so it wouldn't. But I think it's probably easier if it's our town administrator who does it. Thank you. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So the other the other item I have is a report from the school board meeting last Thursday. I went and I spoke to the school board about having their facilities director, Mr. Fortier, assess this building. 
um, its issues and what those issues might cost so that we can plan on their repair, understand what a renovation might cost, or at least understand that, you know, not, that that's not the option that we need to, you know, just so that we have information that we can make available to the residents and the select board so that when we get ready to propose another decision with facilities, we, we are more informed about what the options are. Um, in addition, we spoke about the potential for sharing Mr. Fortier's expertise and time, potentially, in a future budget year, planning for that and maybe paying the school district for a, percent, for a percentage of his time in an ongoing basis because he has the expertise to assess and, and um, administer a CIP plan of sorts for all of our town facilities because we don't have any, our department heads are our department heads and not facility directors and yet they're charged with understanding their building and the building's needs and so it would be reasonable to assume that we don't fully understand what's going on with all of our town facilities despite everybody's best intentions. So. Um, their first, they seemed open to it while at the same time skeptical because they said that he's very maxed out with his responsibilities right. at the school at this time. However, they're open to discussing a long-term relationship in a future budget year. Um, as for assessing this building, um, they did remind me that they started with an engineering study on their building. Um, to the tune of approximately $20,000. And Mr. Fortier had that to work with um, in creating the CIP bill, um, plan for, for that building. Um, so right. while he does have some expertise, it was not clear to the superintendent, principal, and school board chair whether or not he has the expertise to you know, do that yeah, level yeah. of... of he was working off of yeah. Yeah, he was working off of that, and while he does have extensive experience and knowledge, it's not clear whether he or not he could provide the same level of plan and and um, an assessment as they have for the school. Right. So, they suggested as a first step that the superintendent and principal will meet with Mr. Fortier and discuss with him how he feels about the project of assessing this building, his um, expertise for that, how qualified he feels, and how much time it might take right. so that they might decide whether or not they are going to really offer his services for that and whether or not they would want any kind of compensation gotcha. for that. Well, thank you for starting the conversation. So I will be in touch as I hear more. Gotcha. And we do have the um, space uh, needs evaluation that was done by, I can't remember the name, well. our Banwell. Yes. That wasn't an engineering report, I don't believe. No, they were, that was an architecture firm that spoke more to how can you fit people in this same the building space, yeah. you know, more efficiently and does it right. make sense and moving offices around and things like that. However, it's been a, it's been a while since I've read it and I do think it said something about yeah. the structure of this building that it's sound, but I'm not sure that it's enough information to truly determine we that. We look at it again. Yeah. yeah. And that's on our drive, right? It is on the drive. Yeah. Right, so. yeah. All right, so we should take a look at that again, do an, another evaluation of that. And clearly it's on the budget to, to have that sort of um, level of... Uh, I mean, of, it's a uh, lot smaller building down. than the school. I can't it's true. So, so it may, may not, not be 20, that, but it but might be 12. We still don't have... Or, yeah. yeah, no, that's... In our professional lines, we have... Uh, a lot of other things we need to do with that money right now that uh, we've already, you know, we, we talked about her in the budget process, so yeah. I can't imagine we, we have that flexibility in the budget, so, but you may, I mean, we, as we move through the year, we, we may find that we do want to, given strains on, like, the insurance lines and things, if, if things don't. There's that. It, it might still be helpful to know what such an assessment, if, if he finds himself to not have the time or else not feel qualified to provide such an assessment, it might right. still be helpful to know what an, you know, a comprehensive engineering study might cost, cost so that you can choose to budget or not, or you can choose to find the money or not. Right. Yep. Uh, we should discuss whether I'm going to do an RFP, that sort of thing. Right. 
clearly if it's over a certain amount of money, we probably should. So agreed. I would think. But. All right. Anything else? No, that's it. All right. Thank well, thank you for that. And like I said, we may decide we want to put that at the beginning of our meetings, but right now, for the first time out, we thought we'd put it at the end. We have review of correspondence. What do we have in our red folder this year? Sorry. Forgot I had it. We have a purchase order for, um, I'll just go ahead and move it, uh, I'll move purchase order 1677 to, I think this says interweave? Interwear. Interwear development for $364 for dog license program. All right, I'll second it. So purchase order 1677 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? So the yearly Can we expense. Can that? Yes, yeah, the yearly expense for the, the, the software we uh, we signed on to for the dog licenses. Okay. You can always revisit it next budget season. It was budgeted for. Any other discussion? Saying none, all those in favor of purchase order 1677 say aye. 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 Opposed? That's it? Yeah, that's it. I like your folder, isn't it? How's that? Apparently it's all in this one. All right, so the first uh, piece that's in here, it wasn't the first piece, but I put it on top, is um, a newsletter from the um, um, Seacoast Shipyard Association. Uh, so the group that was uh, formed to um, deal with uh, the threat of closure through the... Um, Brack, thank you. Was drawing a blank. Process from several years ago, and we've kept going because it's um, always worthwhile to stay on top of these things. So they do a breakdown of what they've spent their money on, um, what the um, what the um, basically it's, it's an it's an inventory of what the what the local impact of having the the shipyard remaining over at the. Portsmouth, regardless of what main thinks, um, um, keeping it open. So in Rollinsford, in the little town of Rollinsford, the annual payroll from the shipyard, these are civilian employees, uh, is five million six hundred ninety thousand six hundred and sixty dollars and fifty three cents. And they employ seventy nine people in the town of Rollinsford over at the shipyard. So next time someone tells you it's not a big deal, the shipyard closes, we can do other things with it. Probably need to find $5.6 million, almost $5.7 million worth of payroll that comes into the little town of Rollins. And if anyone wants this, they can, they're more than welcome to have it. So, next is things we actually have to take care of. So, um, when we got the new fire truck, we applied for something called a DERA grant with the Department of Environmental Services. Um, and we need to do an annual, we need to do a, repo, a report periodically. Um, I need to sign this uh, for the uh, for the state, so if there's no objection, I'm going to the the chief fills it up. We've used let's see, amount of fuel used this quarter, 69 gallons. Number of miles used this quarter, 220. Estimated amount of idling time this quarter is 28 hours. So, if there's no objection. I'm going to sign the report to the state. Down here. So we're in compliance. All right. Next is a, um, we already talked about this and I should have gone to get the stamp, um, is a, um, a um, stamp for um, septic. I will, um, I'm just going to stamp it. So I'm going to grab it. Denise, um, Denise is not going to grab it because Denise is on the phone. Caroline is going to go grab the stamp. So while she's doing that, the other, up there is, Uh, request for disposal. Um, the town treasurer would like to get paid, which makes complete sense. One of his quarterly payments, so unless there's any objection, we'll disperse his treasurer's pay. No objection. Okay. Ah, the stamp is here. And so, the only other thing that's in here besides the thing I need to stamp is, um, the notice of decision from the 
uh, Zoning Board of Appeal, of Adjustment rather, um, in the um, uh, Days Auto Salvage um, case. So the first piece was denied, that was um, uh, the appeal of, the, uh, of whether or not we can make the decision to deny. And then the second was uh, granting uh, uh, the applicant's um, variance. Um, and now the applicant needs to go to the uh, planning board. Has the applicant made any contact to the planning board? No, as of yet. Okay. When was this? Uh, when was this? That was probably a month ago, approximately. Okay. So Mr. Clark is going to stay on top of this because yes. he's not going to just sit indefinitely and not do something, right? Good. Correct. I hope. Because we still haven't approved his uh, license for this year. Correct. Right? Okay. Mr. Clark is also staying on top of whether or not he's compliant with all the list of um, requirements. That will come into play, I think, once he gets through planning. Because right now, absolutely. Not, so. Yes. Okay. Ready. I've got stamp. I'm going to stamp the plans for the septic. It was, I should have told you what it was for. Um, it's a uh, septic on Rollins Road, map one, lot 57 5. Highland Soil Services, all it says. It's, it's the, the company that's doing it. I don't. Uh, uh, but it's only the other septic replaced. Just one copy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Just so I can't say what you're concerned in the book. suggest to people that they put in the culvert, then the people will just pay for the culvert and the town will do the rest. I, I'm going to have to go back and look at it. I don't know so much. I don't remember. Yeah. I know there was um, discussion when we repaved, it must have been Pinch Hill, mm -hmm. but we haven't done Sligo, um, with the, far, the fields, the cutouts, yeah. to go back and forth through some of the fields. Um, we allowed, or, or we we worked with the landowner to make sure that those were maintained, so they weren't the farm workers weren't going in and out of the field and other mm -hmm. places destroying the pavement. But um, so it's that, and that was that's done by statute mm -hmm. too, because it has to be agricultural. Yeah, um, but it's not that. It's when George was talking about ditching yep. Sligo. Yeah. He brought that up that there are places that need to have culverts under the roof. Um, yeah. Or from or the side. No, from on the side of the road. Are there driveway ones? Or what? Yeah, there's driveway, driveway ones. But I don't think they would touch those. I mean, that's just my opinion. Well, I'm just so saying. We'll work with it. In the sure mill case, it would be kind of different, wouldn't right. it? Or, I don't know. Well, it's honest. similar. If, I mean, if you said yes yeah. to that, no, no, I agree. If you then you're going to have to agree with this. I think that's what we're trying to figure out what we've um, mm. what we've done in the recent past, anyways, or agreed to or not agreed to. Because if we're doing it for one, we should be doing it for everybody the same way. Right. We shouldn't be doing it on a case by case basis. It should be uniform policy, I would say. But however, there is no policy, and Correct. the board changes, so the board has the right to do whatever the current that board feels is That is true. Also, that's a very valid point. But if we're trying to be 
fair and do equal, you know. But each, you know, the previous board can't tie the hands of the next board, so that's very true. So if we want to follow George's advice, we can. So, anyways, but I don't have an answer right now. I don't know. I don't no. remember. We got to go back and look at the minutes for sure. Right. And like I said, I, I removed myself from that entirely. In fact, I think I had the flu back when they came in. Too. Mm -hmm. When was that? It was last summer. No, no. It was two years ago. Two or three now, two right? Two or three. It was, um... Well, how long has George been working for us? Since it November 17. And it was before that. It was... It was no, 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 no. What I'm talking about is when he was here. And he was looking oh, at right, that, that culvert. Right. <clears throat> and having all the problems. I think that was last year. He may have come to talk to us about last year. You're right. Yes. I think we're, we're talking about two different. Up. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about two different areas of town, and two different conversations. Mm -hmm. So I think there are several points um, in time to check minutes and see, you know, check back in with how the board felt with what areas of town and what issues, you know, mm -hmm. at those times. George had mentioned that now it's a different state. They have different yeah. regulations, different laws. But in Berwick, they um, they had people pay for the pipe and the, the town installed it because they wanted to make sure it was done properly. I mean, right. there's that, something to be said for that, too. And I think that's why he's coming with that recommendation. I mean, that may be, and I, I, I have no argument against mm -hmm. that. It's just, um, I don't know if it was necessarily done right the last time when the resident <laughs> paid for it, but anyways. Mm. George had already told me it wasn't done right, so anyways. So, we're going to have to think about what we're going to do. Right. So. But, I mean, alternatively, the, the resident could lock up their culvert. And it, no, it, it, the law says that mm -hmm. they are required to maintain them and make sure they're oh, clean. Mm -hmm. And we, we can require that they replace or clean out their culvert at their own expense. At their own expense, yeah. If it is impairing the roadway in some way. Even if, if it was put in incorrectly by the contract that the town signed off on, which was the case in the place where I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. because Everyone on the streets had issues, so, but anyways, neither here nor there, so, um, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. But we're not going to do it today, so thank you for that reminder. So. Any other community, um, input, sorry, I forgot the word. If not, I need a motion to go into non-public session to deal with the personnel issue. I move we go into non-public to deal with the personnel issue. I will second that. Um, roll call, Denise. Yes. Miles? Yes. Mike? Yes. So we're non-public 